Hi everyone, it's Adam here from Ads Productions and today I'm going to talk to you about the Ouya console. Ouya! I know many of you subscribers out there want to see more technology content from me rather than just the random ramblings that I've been doing lately, so here we go. There is currently a console out there called the Ouya which is going to change everything. Now, if this isn't competing with the PS3 or Xbox, so don't be leaving comments like Oh my god, this is crap! Xbox 360 for the win! It's not competing with any of them. Essentially what the Ouya platform is, is a place for indie developers to put their games on and develop games for and be on the TV. Because at the moment the indie games are much more geared towards the PC end so that you can put an indie game, put it on a website and go download it from here. But this one will give you the capability of having this Ouya box and putting your game straight onto the Ouya platform. Meaning that anyone in their family environment or in their living room or whatever can have access to the latest and greatest indie game. And personally I think that's amazing. Oh yeah and you have to excuse the random bad lighting but it's the best I can do so whatever. Hopefully this... Oh is the light still moving? Hopefully this new Ouya console will sort of spark an interest in the indie game community, bringing more people towards it, and therefore creating independent games that are great. Here is a quote from them. Let me just sort of read the screen while I say this. The quote from them is, We're handing the, rain We're handing the reins over to the developer with one condition. At least, at least some gameplay has to be free. We borrowed the free-to-play model from games like League of Legends, Team Fortress 2, Triple Town, uh, and many others. Basically what they're saying is, yes you can make games for it, yes go ahead and develop, but an element of it has to be free. This is where I have a slight problem, because I know what this is going to lead to. It's going to lead to many developers out there, or all these indie game creators are going to be like, yep, you can play the first level, but then you have to pay $9.99 for the next five. I just think that's absolutely crap. I think they really need to say, hold on a minute, there has to be a free to play aspect that's worthwhile, rather than just, yep, you get to demo the first level, because I don't like games like that. That's me personally, but I'm sure many of you don't like to be conned into something because it's free to play, it's free to play, and then go and actually, you need to have a $2 uh, expansion thing to get the latest weapons or whatever. You know what I mean. You gamers out there know exactly what I mean. What I hope they will do is have like a, you know like iTunes does, where it has the top free and the top gross, uh, top paid for games. I, I really, really hope they have a section for free games. So you can browse all these games and know that they are 100% free, instead of going, Oh, that looks a pretty good game, I'm going to buy it. Oh, I've got to pay $14. I really, really do hope they distinguish between free and paid for. And here are the system specs. I don't know what it is with all these hand movements, but it works. A Tegra 3 quad-core processor. 1 gig of RAM. 8 gigabytes of internal flash storage. Oh, sorry. 8 gigabytes of internal flash storage. HDMI capabilities. Up to 1080p. Built-in Wi-Fi. Yes. Not the crappy wireless cards. I'm looking at you, Microsoft. Bluetooth. LE 4.0, basically meaning low energy. And finally, <laughs> that's my attempt at a drum roll. USB 2.0 port, just one of them. Is that it? Yeah, that's it. Now here's an interesting thing. The developers have actually said that this console will be 100% hackable, meaning that anyone can come along, open the system, take the RAM out, take this out, swap it in, and it will be completely under warranty as long as you put the original parts back in and send it back to them. I think that's a bit, Whoa, because you know it's like with people hacking things, it will be, and they want to have a multiplayer aspect to this as well. So, yeah, multiplayer mixed with hackable consoles, mixed with mm, lots of hacks online, you know, lots of lobbies with aimbots and all that stuff. Those of you watching this video thinking, oh, this UI is just another crappy thing that's not going to get anywhere, well, here's where you're wrong. They wanted about, I think it was $900,000 or so on their Kickstarter page, and in eight hours, eight hours they raised a million dollars. So far, as of this video is publishing, it has about 4.3 million dollars raised on its Kickstarter page. And it's still got about 20 days left. Wow. This, this might possibly be a real, real game changer. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I really do look forward to seeing what you have to say. Leave any comment you want, and if you're not subscribed, don't forget to hit that subscribe button up there. You know, the generic, leave a comment, blah, 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 blah. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.